So now we're back in looking at our active work orders. And you can see the very top work order has been completed. I can go in, open this, maybe look at some details in regards to it. Okay, so you can see all the details. You can see the work order, okay, has, has, uh, has been scheduled and completed from here. Okay, so I'm going to say, yep, that's been done. Say so I'll close that task off. All right, I've got a status of completed. Now there is a functional location here. This is important for a couple reasons. Um, it allows me to get more detailed as a location. So if I'm working on a large building and we have to, it's not just an address we need to go to, we need to go to the third floor in the fourth office. This allows me to do that where I have a functional location tied to it as well. You can see I said the system status is completed. You can see incident type is done. The bookings are all complete for it. If I go over and look at our products, we should see the products all updated as well. So quantity, the services, four hours, and then the service task. Really the last thing to do with this now that if we, we okay everything on this, I can actually go in and complete this. So once it's completed, I'm gonna go in and post that out. And at that point, I save that record, the work order has been posted, and maybe that does indicate back that it's being sent to um, an ERP system or something like that for processing for invoicing on the way out. So thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the brief overview of Dynamics Field Service. Thank you.